we're going to walk you through the new Memorial Donations system. Now this has been up and running for the past month or so in Canada. We're about to release it in the U.S. as well. The new system allows for donations to be made by credit card to any registered charity in North America through the My Tribute Gift Foundation, which in itself is a charity. Now we're going to explain how the new donation handler works, how to add charities, how to create your favorites list, which you'll immediately see the advantage of when you do have that favorites list up. A lot of our clients wanted their local charities to be able to accept the credit card payments in the Book of Memories, and that's now going to be capable. Uh, online credit card payment is easy for both the donor and the charity. It is 100% secure, and it is probably the top request we have received here that people do want that ability. The donations handled through, as I mentioned, my tribute gift, which is a charity. They handle the administration duties on behalf of all the charities. The charities receive a monthly payment from my tribute gift. They can even be set up for direct deposit, so they don't have to worry about checks coming in or anything else. The money goes straight into their, their accounts. Uh, more on that is available, I guess, talking to Jason here, or let me know and we can uh, tell you how that works. The database for the charities is filled with every registered charity in North America. Right now, you'll just see the Canadian ones. As soon as we re release in the U.S., the U.S. ones will come up as well. So you can choose from any of those registered charities through the system. The family preferred charities can now accept credit card donations, unless, of course, they're like a trust fund for the family or uh, something to help defer the cost of the funeral. But we'll get into that, too. And with the favorites list, as I mentioned, you're just going to love that because it's going to be a couple quick clicks and you got all your charities up there. Donors who come through the instant payment options, they have no need to mail or deliver a check to anyone. Uh, they receive a receipt instantly that is emailed to them from my tribute gift and uh, the option to receive more information from their selected charity when they do their donation. We we'll get started right on this. Generally the vast majority of our clients use Firefox. That was what we all started with. Um, we have moved over to open it up for Google Chrome now too and we do have several clients using that and having great success with it. So if you want to try with Google Chrome, feel free. But I wanted to point out one little thing if you do use Chrome. When you go to your login page, if you look up here in the right end of the address bar and you'll see that this says this page has insecure content. The insecure content on here is basically the colors. All the data is very secure, trust me. But the browsers now are, are getting to a point now they're trying to protect all the users so they have all these little things to uh, do that. So if you're going to use Google Chrome for the IMS you have to actually click on that shield and tell it to load anyway. Once that's done it reloads and all the features in the IMS will then be available for you. That's the one little stipulation using Chrome. So once the system opens up, go to the record you need to work on. And obviously we're going to go to Donations, which you see right here. This is a standard record, by the way. And you'll see a fairly, I'm going to shrink this down just a tad. There you go. Step one, pretty familiar. You can choose the family preferred charities. You can display to donor to select the charity of their choice. So there's nothing for you to do in here if you do select that. And of course, there's the no, no donation selection. But we're going to be working on family preferred charities. In the second step, you'll notice is that these charities accept credit card payments. So this is where you would select the charities that you're going to use, the ones that will take the credit card payments, and they're all in here, all the registered charities. This does default to all provinces, all states, and it also defaults to all cities. You can narrow this down. I'm going to show you how that works as well. But the way to start selecting charities, the family preferred ones, you just click in the field and start typing in. The very popular one, of course, would be the Cancer Society. So as you start typing it in, you'll see you get all the options here for the Cancer Society. Being in Ontario, we're going to select the Ontario Division. And to add it to the Family Preferred section, simply click Add. And you'll see it drops in down here to the Family Selected Charities. You have a maximum of four. And if I want to select another one, I'll just type in March of Dimes. And there's the Ontario March of Dimes, nonprofit. So you see how easy the search is. Click on Add. Once again, it drops into the Family Preferred Charities. Now, if you want to narrow it down, say you have a popular food bank uh, charity or a hospital, 
I narrow it down to my province and my city. And simply type in, and there's the two food banks in town. This is probably the biggest, most popular one. You select that. And by chance, the family does have a trust fund that they've set up that they can also have donations sent to, but it is not a registered charity. So we have to go to the non-charitable organizations, which will be down here. These are the ones that you'll add in your database. These are the ones that can't accept the credit card payments. Obviously, you're going to have to set up where to send the check to and that sort of thing. I'll show you that in just a second. We do have several in here. But this is the Arlington Children's Fund, and we do want to add that one in. So see, we have our family selected charities in there. Click on Save. We'll go to Book of Memories and Preview for Web. Select Place a Donation, so we go right to the page. And here are our family selected, our family preferred charities, I should say, all in the order that we put them in. And I'll show you how easy it is to juggle those around too. Now the process for doing a donation, you may hear from people about this, and I think the issue is that people aren't paying attention, and they don't read what's on the screen. But it's pretty straightforward when you get to it, because you start off with how much would you like to donate? 50, 100, 250, or they can select other, and put in a very generous $2,000. And then they can select one of the family preferred charities if they like. And if they want to give it to the food bank, they just select that charity. And you'll see the selected charity pops in down here. And then they can proceed. If by chance they don't want to give to any of the family preferred charities, they have their own favorite, they can actually search for a charity, which is listed right here, in any province, in any city, and they would just put in their own this is going to give you a long list because I left it to all cities in Ontario, but you can see how easy it is. They just put in the charity they want if they would select that and off you go. So once they've put in the amount that they want to donate, charity has been selected. It's simply a case of proceed. And this says review that they want a donation of $2,000 going to the food bank and start filling in their information. And because I have autofill on here, it speeds it up for me. One other thing you're going to notice, and you probably will get calls about because I do hear about it, sometimes if they come in, there's no country selected, and but they don't notice that. They just say, I can't select my province or my state. There's no place to pick it. It won't come up. If they don't select the country first, it's not going to populate without that. So let's narrow it down so that they don't have you know, 60, 70 items to go through. It's a little more particular that way. Information's all filled out. Scroll down, choose the credit card, put in the card number, put in all the important information that the credit card company wants. You also notice that we do have a note in here the donation will be processed through the My Tribute Gift Foundation for distribution to your selected charity. Your credit card transaction record will show My Tribute Gift Foundation, and an official tax receipt for your donation will be issued by the My Tribute Gift Foundation. Sometimes people miss this sort of thing, but you know it's right there on the screen. So we also have the privacy policy supplied by My Tribute Gift, which you may want to read through yourself to be aware of that and how that works. They also have their return policy, which once again, you'll probably want to review so you know what to uh, be aware of that. And decide what message they want. We have some preset messages. Or they can, of course, just put in whatever message they'd like to put in. We'll, we'll go with the preset message. They're asked if they'd like more information about the charity. They can select yes or no this time we won't and they can also put in a note to the charity itself because that's another question is my money staying in my community so you can tell right there they have their notes to the charity that they can do that simply click proceed they once again get a review of their donation 
donation amount. If it's not correct, they can go back and edit where it's going to, their pertinent information, credit card information, and the message. Click back on edit at any time. It'll take them back to the page and they can redo whatever part they need to redo. But we're good with this, so we'll proceed. And of course, there was a problem placing my donation because I put in a phony credit card. But <laughs> generally, they're going to get a message here that their uh, transaction was confirmed, the message would be going to the family, and everything was all set. But I just can't afford to make a $2,000 donation, I'm sorry. So we'll go back to view donations. The process for if they do select this charity, which is non-credit card, it's basically the same process. Once again, they get a review. And this is the message they get, thanking them for making the donation. Uh, family will be notified. Uh, you receive an email with instructions on how to complete your donation along with a donation letter to send to your send your donation with. This is what it looks like. So we have the charity information up here, who to make the check payable to, message to the charity as to what this is all about and which funeral home it came from. Now if you don't fill in all the correct information in your system for a check only charity, there's going to be a problem where the people won't know where to send things to. That's what we're going to look at right now. In system settings, if you need to add a trust fund type of charity, a local facility that, you know, they're not registered, this is where you do it. You go to your system settings, select databases, go to charities, and this is the Arlington Children's Fund that we put in. This is the very important information that you have to have in here, the name of the charity, who to make the checks payable to, the fulfillment method, extremely important whether they have to send the check to the funeral home or whether they send the check to the charity and then the information as to where to mail it. If you leave any of this blank the person gets a blank letter and they're confused and they call you and say what do I do with my check because it didn't the letter was blank that's what it all comes from so just keep that in mind. Now we mentioned the favorites in system settings once again you'll notice here that we have favorite charities and this will speed up the pro process for you immensely when you're actually putting these together. It defaults to your local city and province or city and state because generally that's where you're picking from um, but we'll just try so we have Breast Cancer Action Kingston very popular I'm going to add that to my favorites. The Food Bank If you need to search for a church in your city, just put in church, you're going to get that list of all the ones that are registered. If there's a hospital, brings up the list of hospitals in your city. Hotel Du, very big hospital in Kingston, very popular with donors. And there's one other one that I'd like to look for here if I could spell correctly St. Mary's of the Lake. And now I'm going to do this so we can get I guess I should have gone to all provinces with that. There we go. Heart and Stroke Foundation of Ontario. my spelling. My apologies. So you see we give you the option to add 10 favorite charities in your list. Make sure you save that. We'll go back to the record and I'll show you how this works. Select donations. 
And now you see you do have your list of favorites along here. These are going to be the most popular ones in your area that people select most. And you'll know what they are for your own area. You just add them to your favorites list and then as the family has their preferred charities, they're probably going to pick one of those ten populars or two or three of them and you're going to have them right there so you don't have to search for anything. You just add them in. So, And it's also going to be handy when the family comes back and says, why is our trust fund showing at the bottom of the list? You very simply remove these by clicking on remove. Add back in my partners in Mission Food Bank. We're going to put in Hotel Du Hospital and the Heart and Stroke Foundation. We save that. Go back to the Book of Memories. I'll refresh this View Donations. Go to Place a Donation. And you'll see our list has improved here where we have the uh, children's fund at the top of the list again and then we still have our favorites right below that we've added off the favorites list so you can see how easy that favorites list is going to make it for you very easy to select them get them all set up you'll know which ones are the popular ones it's going to speed up the system immensely it's all very straightforward once you realize how all this works um, and you probably will hear from people saying I didn't know but you see on the screen it's all there we Try to make it clear for everyone to see that here's your donation, here's where it's going to, it's all going to be looked after, here's where your message goes, it's all done and it's all done by credit card as conveniently as possible. So, it's 100% secure. There is a transaction fee, of course. Um, people may become concerned with that. They make, make a transaction with a credit card. Obviously, the credit card companies do charge you a percentage. Um, my tribute gifts takes a percentage as well for administration fees, a minor percentage off that. So the donor gets full credit for their donation. If they donate $100, they get their tax receipt for $100, but the charity will receive a little bit less than that. But everyone understands that when you're dealing with credit cards. We also have the major credit, uh, our charities that are asking us to impress upon you to use the credit card system. Um, it speeds up their process and makes all their work a lot easier too which we can understand because they don't have to go down to the bank with 5,000 checks. It's all done electronically and then they can uh, spread things along much quicker. If you have any questions about how the whole process works, you can always email me. You can send any questions you have or any concerns to support at frontrunnerpro.com. That's support at frontrunnerpro.com. I'll get back and answer any of the questions that you do have as quickly as possible. Thank you for your time. It was quick and it's easy and you'll see that the uh, process here is going to make it a lot easier for donors on your site and hopefully for you when you have to add this all into the records. Thanks. Have a great day.